We are a very strong group in mathematical finance first. Uh, I think there are about 10 members of staff and about 30 PhD students, so that does make quite a large group. Our research covers a wide range of topics uh, because we have, uh, you know, very practical mm, uh, research uh, investigations, looking at the financial system as a whole, whole as I interconnectedness, the systemic risk uh, and the possible contagion that may be triggered by uh, a negative uh, event in the market and spread uh, through the uh, financial system. So my research concerns an area called stochastic analysis, which is um, uh, essentially concerned with, the, with probability of random events. So volatility is one of the main objects we're looking at uh, in my finance because there is plenty of data available uh, but there's also plenty of models to to describe it and so that's why volatility modeling is you know, to find the models to precisely describe how things evolve. I'm working on a, like rather than mathematical finance actually like more financial economics so trying to design like some mathematical models to study markets in their whole breadth my research focused on credit valuation adjustment and funding valuation adjustment. Mathematical modeling is as much of an art as it is a science and the skill set you need to develop in this is not just understanding the maths, you need to go beyond that. Intelligence is of course a prerequisite but uh, you need to keep going as a PhD student. Um, it, it isn't the type of um, lifestyle which recommends itself to somebody who do doesn't have the motivation. We look at the PhD uh, students who are uh, especially particularly motivated because one of the main qualities you need in a PhD is motivation and who are willing to work hard and that also showed potential in the past for mathematical research. I've been always has um, like loved maths since w I was very young and it's not until when I'm almost finishing my master degree that I decided to do a PhD. The nice thing for me is that it's not teaching, per se, uh, because you know I'm not writing things on a blackboard with hundreds of students in front of me writing things down. It's more of a one-to-one -one conversation on you know, a scientific topic, a mathematical topic, and so there's much more interaction. Like my master thesis was about uh, mathematical economics and finance. So I got like thinking that maybe I would like to go more in depth in what I was doing. And then I went to some conferences when I was uh, during my master and I met a few like academics from Imperial. So it just was quite natural to try to come here and do a PhD. Of course we have like a lot uh, very various choices here. We have different lectures that we can go to and we have many seminars on different subjects. So we encourage collaboration, we encourage talented students to be flexible uh, and to be eclectic but also to be strong in mathematics. That's what we need. The atmosphere in London both intellectually and socially is, is, is very invigorating um, and th there are opportunities here for, for people to discover who they are, both as mathematicians, uh, academics, and as people.